Hey guys, the Ons is here, and welcome back to another video of Monster Hunter Rise. Last time we, uh, we fought Zenogre. As you see, we're wearing some new gear. This is due to me hunting some Zenogres off cam. I didn't do the off cam recording thing I usually do since that eats up a lot of time. But for now, I want to show off the stuff we got. We got the rugged full armor set. Or rugged full set that we got way back when and I never showed it off. But you know, this is a, this is a set. Now you can obviously tell what weapon we're using today. As well as hugging a bird. A good buddy. Yes. Okay. Now, some of you guys may be here from TikTok or my YouTube shorts. If you are, well, welcome here. I'm, uh, I've been doing, like, little mini shorts from my videos that I've been uploading in YouTube's, uh, shorts and, uh, TikTok. So, if you guys are here from there, then welcome. Why not consider subscribing and just chilling with me for the future? Now, there isn't much to look at. We kind of just gotta go on our hunt. You know? We gotta take care of this Alma drone. This... This guy in the swamp, okay? Now, of course, we gotta come over here and do some fancy fancies with our dongos. Uh, let's go for the usual number two. Defender, fighter, and dongo feet. Hey, we got two skills. That's two more than last time. <laughs> it kind of sucks to say that. Now, um, I was kind of thinking, right? We're using armor that technically is higher level, but we're wearing less armor, right? So let's just see our defense stat. Yeah, 161. Not bad. Uh, if you guys want to know my equipment I've got right now, it is an Utushi mask, an Utushi chest, a Nargakuga bracers, Baroth coil, Utushi graves, Royal Bolt scepter, Strength Padalace, and a Novice talisman. And yeah, let's go on our hunt! Playing in the dirt after a hard day's work. A grumpy old beast rises from the muck. Be gone. Be gone. A booming voice resounds. None shall ever enter this creature's old ground. Almadrone. Almadurn. Uh, I think it's pronounced Almadurn. Anyways, uh, he seems to be a dick. I imagine those walls are going to be a pain. Now, the reason why we upgraded to the Utushi pieces was because of a very special skill, which is a uh, Razor Sharpened Spare Shot. So, what those do is it makes it less likely for me to decrease my sharpness and also less likely to consume ammo. I think right now the melee sharpness is at 10% chance not to, and the uh, ranged weapon uh, ammo consumption is 20%. I'll have to double check when we're done this hunt. But you know, it, it should be fine. It's just a monster in the mud. What's the worst that could happen? Maybe he's stronger than Magnamalo? That's a possibility. That would be funny. Make Namalo this big bad monster, and here comes this one guy chilling in the mud, and it's like, yo, bruh, he's weak. 
weak sauce. I think water damage would probably be best against him. Maybe. Anyways, when you use an insect life, you gotta always start it right. You know. Ha! Ah! 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 Why did I get attacked? Well, he got me that. Come back. And go get me. That's not quite what I wanted. Ooh. A big boy. Oh well. We'll chill with what we got. We already dinking? Oh, I forgot my weapon gets sheathed when you do that. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Wah, 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 wah. Uh oh. Jump! Jump! That could have been bad. Okay, back up. We're just going to quickly, you know, gather our stuffs. Act like nothing happened. He seems to be a big guy. Anyways, let's explain him real quick. Wow. Uh -oh. Okay, this is an Almadrone. Almadrone. Either way, he is the elderly mud wyvern, which I don't know how that works. Is it like when an Almadrone pops out of another Almadrone? He's just instantly an old man. I actually don't want to know. Thanks for just... No. Okay. So, his type is a Leviathan Wyvern, and his threat level is 7 out of 10 stars, meaning he's on par with Maggie. Uh, his habitat is a Shrine Ruin, Sandy Plains, and the Flooded Forest. His weakness element is Fire, and his weakness ailment yeah, doesn't exist. He's just fine with everything. Uh, his weak spots to attack are his head, the tail, and the tip of the tail. And his four legs. Four legs being the one you want to smack if you are using elemental damage. His resistance element is water and his resistant ailment is blast. Meaning he's kind of good with explosions, but he didn't really use any explosions, so I don't really get that. Maybe mud works as in like a cushioning and can stop explosions. I don't know. But usually when I think of an explosion, I think of fire, which he's weak to fire, so... Yeah, let's just not question it. The old man likes explosions and can take them. Now, I did find his fight was pretty easy with the insect life. I imagine if you're using a different weapon, he might be a little more difficult. But honestly, I would put him down at more like a 5 star out of 10 instead of a 7 star. Or even maybe 6 out of 10. Since I consider like uh, Mitsune, Zenogre in them to be a little harder than him, because... Yawns! Why? Why do I yawn? Since Sinogre, Mitsune, and Nargakuga have a bit more of a faster attack pattern, and they hit actually a lot harder. I don't know if it's because I upgraded my armor, but before, um, I didn't take as much damage as I do, or I took a little more damage than I do now. So I guess that would make sense. Anyways, so he really mainly just attacks with his tail with a few bite attacks and a spinny attack. And that's pretty much him. He grabbed a little massive mud ball and I didn't know what to do with it so I just smacked him a lot and he dropped it. So yeah, he's an interesting monster. I hope you enjoy the hunt. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's fine. Give me that. Music. I can do this all day. Okay, well you know what? We gotta just call him back. Get on our dog. Sharpen our spear. We gotta keep it sharp. Maybe grab this. Jump up. We got to aim for the head. That's not the head. There we go. Okay, and now up we go. And timber. He's really tanky. Lots of shields on this guy. Don't know how I feel about that. Oh, 
Oh, I was hoping he was going to walk into that. Well, that's fine. Meow. Whoa, that was a good hit. Let's aim for the tail. Up we go. And forward. Ho. We didn't hit there. Well, we kind of cut up his back pretty bad. We're just gonna run around. Aim for his face hole. Because that's where the tail appears. Pick up the Thunder Beetle. Kind of just mind our own business. And over here. He's going to jump. There he goes. Now do your thing. Ha! You have now become a sparky sparky boom man. Where's your tail? Wow, well, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. Don't know why I didn't add the could have. Could have, should have, would have. Here comes the special. We're just going to back off. We're good. Come back over. Whoops. We're out of our specials. That's attack boost. That's speed. And that's defense. Got all three pretty quick. Uh oh, he's going to swap me out of the way. Okay, we're fine. I don't know how I feel about that in his tail. Looks like it's going fine, though. I imagine his tail's not cuttable. We're just going to jump the tail. And just quickly regain some stamina and amna. Right. Oh, I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Oh, well, he got me there. Tango down! I don't know what broke, but I will take it. Drop the ball! This is a no ball zone. I repeat, drop the ball! I warned you, drop the ball. I'll aim for your head here. And now we go for a little bit of this. How did that miss? I was spinning at like Mach 69. Don't ask how that works. Just accept that it was Mach 69. We're getting this. Wow! Don't ask how that missed, because even I don't know. Where are you going? Fun only just began! I started getting my mojo grojo combo, Joe. You know, Joe? Oh well. Guess he wants to come over here. Not like I can stop him or anything. No, because I'm not a ranged weapon. Well, I'm kind of ranged. I guess that counts. Up we go! Don't mind me, I'm just gonna come over here. Uh oh. Oh, good job Pluto. Pluto, doggo. Your name changes like every episode, Syrup. I figured something like that was gonna happen, but it's fine by me, since I am good at this game. Uh oh. Jump! Dodge. Spin. Jump. I'm out of stamina. It's fine. You, I didn't need stamina to begin with. Uh-oh. That's a good thing I dodged that one. Bro, he's in capture range. Let's go. I want to hit him a few. A bit more. A little more. Okay. That was a lot harder to say than I thought it was going to be. 
You know what? Fine. I guess I can shock you. Okay. You're captured. I... I slayed something. What did I slay? What? When? Syrup? Did you do something? I kind of like this guy. He's a fun fight. I think Insect Glaive is a perfect counter to him, though. He couldn't do much against me. Yes, birdie. The bird did all the work. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the bird was kind of like... It was distracting him, you know? He missed a lot of attacks because of the bird. If we didn't have the bird, I can easily say we would have lost the hunt. Ooh, we earned a new title. Yeah, the new cutscene has been added to the gallery. Well, ice. Nicely done. I should have guessed an Almadura, Almadrone was no match for ya. Hinoa has six star quests ready for you now. Go check them out. Before you run off, have you tried out any of the quests that old Hojo and Minato have for you in the Gathering Hub yet? Quests there are a bit tougher, but you're not afraid of a little challenge, are ya? Didn't think so. Blah, 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 blah. With skills like yours, you need to, you need to be aiming higher. Now get to it and may the fires of success burn bright for you. Ha <laughs> ha, Minato, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. What you got for me, Kagero? Yeah, good tiding, Master Ice. I've stocked a special selection of items expressly suited to your very exploits. Each and every one is guaranteed to be of use to you. I highly recommend that you give them your consideration. What you got for me? What? What's new? Cleansers! Those aren't bad. Those are actually really good. Uh, new ammo types. Ooh! Armor Charm and Power Charm! I was hoping we would get these soon. Those are really good items. Hold up. Can we sell some of our... Where are they? We got, like, special, uh, sellable things. I don't know where they are, though. They're somewhere. They're, like, eggs. Yes. There's one. Or, there's all of them. And, any others? Didn't think so. Okay. Let's do the lottery! Bam! <laughs> what?! <laughs> How many times have I gotten bingo?! I don't know if bingo's like the rare one or not. Canine Master, what you got? Hey, Ice, I wanted to talk to you about a new idea I had. I was thinking, how can I spread the word about Palamuts? And then it came to me. Why not put canine masks on cahoots? That way, they'll be advertising Palamuts whenever and wherever they fly around. For example, you travel to a lot of different places. Think you could put on one on your cahoot as well? If you bring me a picture of your coo hoot, I can eyeball it and can make a mask without even needing a measure. The stealth? Ooh. Look. That's easy. Where, where's my kahoot? I I can't believe I... I just realized I'm saying kahoot. Like uh, the one game you would do as in uh, high school or elementary school. Wherever you did it. Anyways, that's done. Oh, Got a picture of your kahoot for me? Thank you, Ice. Uh, may I take a look? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this'll fit nicely. Here, take this Kahoot mask. And as a bonus, here's a matching outfit to go with it. With all the traveling you do, it's sure to help spread the word. Goka and I thank you. There we go. Stealth. Oof. Yay! Kahoot's dresser obtained an item. Don't know what that is, but you know. Hey there, Ice! How are you? How are hunting hunts going with your Palamuts? If you're interested, I've made something a little experimental this time, and I'm looking for someone to try it out. It'd have to be someone experienced in Palamut training. Besides me, of course. Somebody who can gain their trust. And I couldn't think of anyone better than you. Isn't that right, Goka? Well, what do you say? Well, uh, we're at level 20. Let's just... Everyone's talking about how good you are with your Palamuts. Isn't that right, my little Goka? <laughs> I knew you would be... Uh, I knew you would be. 
I think I can trust you with this. Enjoy. And feedback from someone as deeply passionate about Palamutes as you is precisely... It's priceless, so let me know what you think. Okay, heavenly, heavy strike and rock steady. Any more? Okay, good. Uh, okay, what do you want, Hinoa? Thanks again for taking care of that urgent quest, and with such urgency. Not to mention you saved a bunch of villagers at a uh, trip to the cleaner. I can recommend a good place, by the way. Anyway, I know Elder Fugan already told you, but I'm obligated to repeat it. You are now able to take on six-star quests. You, there are so many quests. Great quest here, perfect for a formidable warrior like yourself. Hunt all the monsters, or take a bath. Either way, I'll be waiting here for my order of bunny dongos to arrive. But before I start stuffing my face, care to have a look at the quest list? Be sure to check the special quest as okay. Well. I just did one of these. Okay. Off cam stuff. Here I come. Any more off cam? Okay. Well, there's another off cam. There's another off cam. That one we can't do off cam yet. So we gotta do a Diablos, a Tigrex, a Gross Hark. So just those guys? Just a few episodes. Okay. We're running low on episodes, guys. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, any more? Buddy Plus. Oh, I thought it was going to be the cat. What you got for me, uh, Iori? It's amazing how you just knock every quest out of the park, guys. I wanted to support your efforts in some way, so I decided to scout more buddies for you to hire. I figure with that with a trusty buddy at your side, no hunt could prove your match. So think about hiring a few new ones, okay? What do we talk? What do you mean about uh, new buddies? Okay. Well, I thought it was going to be something important, but okay. Bye. And I'm guessing we're going to have to go over to... Wait, what? There's an... Who wants to talk to me? Who is it? Who challenges Makoa? I knew it was you. I just knew it. Okay. What you got for me? The unique products of this region are all so well made and remarkable. I've no doubt there would be demand for them abroad. In return for valuable local items, I shall offer you, and only you, a very unique and special trade. Well, should you find this suggestion agreeable, you only need to supply a number, a small number of local goods. As always, please deliver them to the guild, and they shall send them to me. You have my word that a compensation is well worth the trouble. Another submarine, okay. King Rhino. Three rock roses. I've got no clue where those are. Okay. Well, we're going to be working towards that. Any quests in here? Oh, the cat's just got a better shop. And... Any... Anything else? No? Okay, well, it sucks to be me. Okay, so... Uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Off cam, I will be completing... Uh, the special license test. Uh, what else are we going to be completing? Uh, the test of courage and a flash of lightning. Yeah, we'll do those. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. And if you could, why not subscribe to my channel? Because it really means a lot to me. Anyways, I'm Yonsis, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!